Welcome to this new video. This video is about page level security, Power BI, how we can implement page level security. So when you go for the details, like if you want to have a control over Power BI report pages, like we want to give certain users the rights to access certain pages and certain users to access certain other pages, you can use page level security. And there is nothing like page level security in Power BI, but we can work around and we can implement the page level security by the help of row level security. So suppose if somebody, some user need to access only here some users need to access only this language and some users need to access only this photo page we're having these three pages here this air page is the environment name air where we can see the products which belongs to the environment name air and which is having generating the revenue with respect to air the land page shows the product is having land which is in the land and which is generating the revenue the same as what are the product which is in the water that they are generating the revenue so you suppose we need to show only water to certain users and the land to certain users you can use page level security or you can implement the role level security in this page which we can call as page level security so we will try to implement that before that we are having we have created a table and in that table we have given three names three user names and those three names two are same and one is different and for the user Jua, the page Page land and water is accessible, but he can't access the page here. And while the user reads, he can access the page here, but cannot access land and water. So basically, when the user job, when he logs into the system, logs into the dashboard or the report, he will be able to see only the pages which is supposed for him to see, that is air and water. The same way when Rachi logs in or gets access to the reports, they will be able to see only this page that is land. And with respect to that, it will be the revenue count also will be changing because they won't be even when you are in the land page and with respect to the user, if the user is having only access to land, they will be shown only this land as the environment and they will show the results with respect to the land. They won't be showing the air and water. And of course, these are all reports which are really to the, here this table is being displayed to show the user's access the, if the user is having the access to only the land you can see here only the land if the user is having the access to land and water you can see here land and water that once the user gets control of the page we will be able to see that. the same visual we have kept in this page water and page air also so that we will be able to understand okay which user is having what all things so in the initial stage we have created a table and in that table we have having those three pages and we are having two users which one user is having the access to two pages that is land and water and another user is having the access to air and here what we need to do is that we need to create a row with respect to these users and we have we need to get the user principal name so the same way how we will implement rls and we will be using Using that user principal name and we will be selecting the page with respect to the user principal name. We will see how we are going to get. So anyway, we are having a table. These are the table which we are using here and we have an extra table called page security where we are having page and user. In this page, we are having the page names. We are having the page names and the user and we need to give the relationship between the page security table and we need to give it to the product table because the page name is almost similar to the environment name. So with respect to the environment, the page name will be shown. So this will be creating more security and more user-friendly performances. So page name is similar to user habitat mode environment name. So that's why we have connected it because if you are connecting it, you can clearly understand the different products with respect to the user who have, who have access to this page. So now this is the main page. I have created one. This is a card and here in this card, we will be placing the username and this is a table where we will be just selecting the user and the page. You can select it now itself. You can create the user and you can select the page also. So one user is having two pages and one user is having only one page. So when you are logging in with this user, you will be able to see only land and water page. And if you are logging with reach, you will be able to see only the air. So first we need to create the role for these users. So you can manage, you can select the manage roles under modeling and you need to create the roles and you can give it as page security. You can select the page security table and you can select the user because we need to create the user. Instead of this value, you can write it as user principal name and you can select this verify tax expression and then you can save it. We can create a measure here for getting the user 
who have a has logged in so for getting that you need to use that user principal name so we will write the user logged in equals to user principal name why we are using it is because we need to know who the user is and we are going to display the user here since now we haven't logged into any user we are just showing the computer name and the user so once we publish it and to a service we will be exactly getting the user these two users any one of these two users will be shown here and here of course we can select the pages the pages are land air and water and that is a columns for page security and now what we have to do is that we need to select a because directly when we are in the service these three pages will be hidden you won't be able to go here directly so if you want to go here you need to select a page here and you need to enter the page here by using a arrow button or something then only we will be able to go to the page otherwise this page will be hidden in the service now here of course since it is a desktop and this is the software we are using okay we can see all the pages so after doing all these things we are going to right click here and we are going to hide this page before publishing it so here we can insert an arrow an arrow button to have a right arrow is fine and we need to give an action to this arrow because the arrow this button needs to know where it needs to be going so we can select the action we can select on the action if you are having a measure if you have created a measure like you can get the measure like selected value but here we are not going to do the selected value we are planning to go to the page navig navigation itself directly and we are going to select the destination as we are having the pages here itself in a column so we will be selecting that column we can go to the page security and we can select the page itself otherwise we can create a measure for getting the selected value and we can select the page for that selected value so this much we have done so now we can view the modeling we can view the rules so mind it if this person is going to enter he will be able to in this slicer you will be able to see only air and land, air and water i mean land and water and if the third the second person that is richie is going to enter as login he will be able to see only the air in this slicer so we will see how it is being how we can do that we can just view and we can give the name here r e d yes why or so we have entered the username and we have clicked okay now we can see everything changed the username is richie and here also the username is richie and you can see here this is what happens in the service also because at the time once this person enters he will be able to access only this page that is air if you are giving another page you will be able to enter only that page and if you click on this air and if you go to this control and if you click you will directly go into the air page you can see here that person is having only access to the air environment and you can see how much the revenue has been generated in that environment and how much count of the purchase and same as the revenue here this was already done and if you want to go back you can select the back arrow here and you can go back here once you log out from that user you will be able to see everything now once again we can check with the other user joa so we can select it as view the page security and the other user if you are selecting none you can you will be able to see all the three pages now we want to give it to the only particular user so the other user is joa we have we are going to log in with this user email id so of course the other only his email id came his username came and his options of pages came so he is having authority over only two pages that is land and water so the same here also you can see and if he selects land and if he goes to this arrow and if you click it he will be directed to the land page you can see this is the land page and you can see these are the two environment he is authorized to do he is authorized to work on or he is authorized to view and with respect to all those two environment he is going to get the revenue he is going to view the revenue and the purchase count and the revenue and with respect to the land he is he is able to see the land environment page details also so if you go back we will be able to see his other page also if he wants to go to water that page and if he wants to click will be directed to the page water and he will be able to see the revenue based upon water and at the same time he will be able to see the revenue based upon whatever he has been assigned to for water and land he is been able to see that is because we are we have given a relationship between the pages and the other product table so we can stop the view and now to to understand it perfectly you need to go to the power bi service you need to publish it and go to the power bi service then only we will be able to see it properly so before that we need to select all these pages and you need to hide the pages here i am hiding all the three pages you need to hide and after hiding 
we are going to save the page and we are going to publish the, and it is a basic free service we are going to use it so we will be publishing it in the my workspace itself so now it got published totally we will go and check whether how it is working so now we are in the workspace we are in power bi service and we have gone to the workspace and in the workspace of course we got the page level security using rls the one which we just now created and we have got the data set on the report how in this workspace we need to go to this data set here the data set is there we need to select this option and we need to go to the security option in that once again we need to take the data set and in that data set the security option will be there you need to go there and select the security option so So of course we have created already two email addresses for accessing this report now we need to give these two email addresses once again here the so first one we are going to give is joe and we have added the first email address joe now we need to save this email address and we need to assign the role or we need to test the role of course we have given this job zero for two pages so we need to see whether the two pages is working or everything is working so you need to select this page security more options and you need to get this test as row just select that test as row so we got the report here the main thing we need to understand in this report is that we have actually we have created around six pages in obi desktop and those three pages the last three pages are missing the pages of land air and water are missing that is because we have hidden it in the desktop and one we published it it goes missing here that is because we have hidden it but why we have hidden it is because we need to create a page level security and now we have logged in using job and on for job we have only two pages to show that is land and water so only through this way he can he will be able to see those two pages so if he wants to go to view the land he can select the land and he can so like this follow up link and he will be able to go to the page land this is the page land and he will be able to see what all things he is assigned to or he is authorized to view in that land page of course he will be able to see the land revenue and at the same time he will be able to see what all environment he is been authorized to access that is water on land and he can go back he can view the water also the same water revenues and whatever you he has been authorized and we can go back to the role level security because we need to check with the other user id also so we have placed the other user id and this other user id also we need to add it and we need to save the both this user ids and we can click that other user id or you can you can call this other user id while running the report itself we can call the other user id of course we have this first user id and we have first user id is having the provision to view two pages now if you want to change the user id and see you can go to this now viewing as page security you can select this arrow and you can give a new email address here the new email address is reach c so you got this new email address and you can apply it and here we can see the username has changed to other reach c and the slicer also changed to that page only one page this person is able to access and that page here is been showing here you can select the page and you can go to the page and you can view the details about that page so this is one wonderful way to implement page level x page level security hope this will be a good video for you you can explore more about it have a nice day